Let's thank I'm glad to be in the house of God Hallelujah. today. Let us thank my, my wife for that selection. Amen. 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 This message is not a feel good message, but it's encouraging. And I just want to talk today's topic. I want to talk to you about even through this, the storm, God still deserves to be reverenced and praised. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord God, I just come to you today, Lord, and just ask you for that I speak your word, Father God. I ask, Lord, that you increase while I decrease, Father God. I just ask, Lord, that your word be set forth, Lord God. Allow us to be changed today, Father God. We give you all glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The topic, even through the storm, God still deserves the, 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 the God deserves to still be reverenced mm -hmm. and glory and yes. praise. Praise him. Okay, when we was reading Acts 16 earlier today, Paul and Silas was in prison. And in that was, when they was in prison, they were thrown into jail. If you go back into the scriptures, they had, um, it was a psychic. And in that, what they did was, they cast their demon out of that psychic. So they got, they got sent to the prison because of that. But in that, in the, in the story, which is true, um, they, they were thrown in prison. But they didn't, what was, been, was, was inspiration to, to us was the fact that they didn't complain. Mm -hmm. They what they did was they worshiped God yes. through that midst of that storm. Yes. They were praising God. And they used every opportunity to, to give him glory and to bring others into knowing God. Yes. Most of us, when we go through trials and tribulations, it stops us from doing the work of the Lord. We we we, we blame others and we we stop doing what we need to do in the Lord. And we do pay to be professing Christians. Mm -hmm. But when we when we when we give our life to Christ, he didn't promise us that his life will be easy. No. It, it may it might even be hard, harder when we give our life to Christ than when we follow the Savior. Because with the fact that we we follow the we we we're giving our life to Christ, we're standing up for righteousness. Yeah. We're standing up for holiness. Yeah. And when um when we if we when we was out there in the world, I mean Satan didn't prob didn't bother us due to the fact that we were living for him. Yeah. And Satan was trying to stop us from the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Eternal life. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna come with tactics, he's gonna be he's gonna He's going to find ways for us not to serve him. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, I mean, he doesn't have to try hard. It's sometimes us. Yeah. But we but we have to stay in his word. Yeah. To, to, it's no excuse to not serve God. Like, we have to stay in his word. He's given, God has given us the blueprint, which is the Bible, to help us in our situations when we go through the storms. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I examined the lives of the believers in the early church compared to the lives that um, today of today's Christians was the fact of they went through a lot more stuff than what we go through, but they changed the world. How many of us are really changing the changing the world when it comes to Christ? We're complacent. We like to stay in our comfortability. We 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 don't we're not. We, 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 just, we don't even try to help others to be saved. Mm -hmm. We just kind of just comfortable just being indoors. We just comfortable yeah. just doing the, the regular minimum religious duty. But we're not for helping others to get into the kingdom or to have what we have in yeah. God. Yeah. And that's the place where we need to get, be at where we need to help others come into, the, um, come into God to know Jesus for themselves yeah. as, as um, professing believers. I mean, they used their they used the opportunities when they went through things, they went through trials. They went they they used that to help others come into God. They used, they counted that as joy. Yep. And as you go into um, James, James chapter one, 
verse 2 through 6. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into to die with temptations, knowing that that the that trying of your faith work is patience. A lot of times we talk about we want to grow in God, but we don't go through want to go through the trial to help no, us to grow to mature right. in Christ yeah. Jesus. We, we want to oh God stop us stop the stop, stop, stop the stop the trial. I don't want to go through this. Yeah, and I'm just myself because I'm guilty of this at all. But I never used it as the I'm, I'm, I need to use it as the opportunity. This is going to help me go further in the Lord. It is not just for me; it's for someone else. Yeah, and. It's going to help for somebody else going into, into the Lord. So we have to get to the point where we, we, we're standing for God. Like we count it all joy when we're walking with God. Amen. I mean, God loves us so much. I mean, he gave his life for me 2,000 years ago on Calvary. So I have the right, I mean... I mean, it's only right that I give my life for him. Yes. I mean, he, he said, when, when he didn't want to die on that cross, but he said, not my will, but your, but your will. So he, he had humiliating death, so I could be free of him. Yes. That I, could, I don't have to go through the lake of fire. But we have to get to that point. Yes. We, look, we got to be kingdom-minded. We need to know God's word and stand on it. We have to. We have to. I mean, when we go through the benefits of suffering for Christ, it equips us for the ministry. I mean, we. I mean, we have to. I mean, if there's no test, how could there be a testimony? I mean, it's prepared. We prepare. I mean, this prepares us for the battleground. So we. I mean, this is a spiritual battle we going through in this world today. But we got the word. We. Well, our, our our weapons is the word of God that's going to help us do it. It's going to help us fight these battles. And, and and the thing, one other thing is, it prepares us for for the glory, because I mean, we go into glory, we don't see glory, we win. So I mean, we have to be to the point where we need to stand on this word. Word. I mean, I mean, I look at it as a relationships too. When we we all, we want the good things out of God, but we don't want to go through the bad things. I mean, no one of us really want to go through the bad things, but but it's the fact of it's a relationship, and and the relationship. Uh, when you have a good relationship, you can go through the goods and the bad, like in a marriage. But when we, but the thing about it is, the good is going to come out. We got to focus on the good. The, we got to focus on the future of it, because God really loves us, and He He gave us so much. He, he's, I mean, we we're, we're blessed. We're blessed, saints. We're really blessed. I mean, even when our, our situation may not be the best, but. We're still blessed. Come on. We're still able. We're still, right. we're still able today to come to the house of the Lord. Yes. We're still today able to give Him praise. Yes. I don't think any of us is going through any shipwreck. Have been through any shipwrecks. I don't think anybody's has threatened us. You know, for us, we're not getting left or death threats for our serving God. I don't think that none of us are, um, have to worry about not coming back when we come to church, whatever. So we can give God praise. He deserves it. He deserves to be praised. And we need to do it the way that he wants us to do, to do it. He said in his word that when we worship him, we need to worship him in spirit and in truth. So we, we he, he deserves it. I mean, it's not even about us. It's about him. And we need to seek his will in our lives. We need to seek the will of God. In, in, his, in our lives, it says the first Peter three seventeen. For it's better that if the will of God be so that he suffer for well doing than for evil doings. So we win. I mean, we, I'd rather suffer for righteousness than for to suffer suffer later on in the, um, in, the, in the lake of fire. So if I, if, I, if it's gonna be hard here on earth, it rather but at the end of the day, there is glory. And I'm getting my reward yes. when the day of judgment. So we have to get to the point where we need to stay to set a standard. We need to live by this word. We need to study this word because the Bible says study to show ourselves approved. Yes. So we need to be at a place where his word stands. It's not even our opinion. It's about his word and living the way he wants us to live. And we need to do what's right in his sight. It says in um, 1 Peter 4, 16, if, it, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glor glorify God on, on his behalf. So it's not a shame to suffer for the, for the, uh, for the gospel. I mean, we need to live by this gospel day to day. Not on Sabbath, not on Sunday, but we need to live his word day to day. We need to carry this word out. This is power in his word. Yes. It's healing in his word. Yes. It's peace in his word. Yes. 
We have to get it right, you see? Yes. We have to get it right. Amen. I mean, we have to. I mean, it's times where I had to praise God when things wasn't right in my life. I mean, I had, it was situations where, you know, I kind of felt God wasn't there. But then it's like, he's, he was always there. Yeah. I mean, and I'm trying to, you know, because my temporary, temporary things that were temporary wasn't right, going right in my life. But he was always there. Yes. I had my health. I was in the right state of mind. I, I've never been homeless. But things wasn't right with the, with the jobs and things like that. But at the end of the day, he was still there with me. Yes. And he still deserved to be praised. I mean, we need to focus on God for who, who he is and not what he can do for us. I mean, it's God's will for I mean, his nature for us to bless, but whether he bless you or not, he still yes. deserves to be praised. Amen. He deserves to be um, Amen. reverenced. He deserves to be glorified. Amen. So we need to be at a point when we go through these trials, it teaches us to trust in him. Yes. Not just in the good times when everything is going good, but also in the bad times. Come on now. He still yes. deserves to be praised. Amen. It's, and I just that's why I just want to give him all glory and praise because yes. he's worthy. Yes. I mean, he's worthy. Amen. He's worthy. Yes, he he, is. I, I'm nothing without him. Amen. And I'm going to give him, I'm going to praise him. I don't know about yes. you guys, but I'm going to praise Come him on now. regardless yes. of my situation. Yes. Or regardless of um, who, who's not serving him. I need to do right. Yes. I, was, I was talking to my wife a while back and I was like, it's, it's about us that this standard. We need to let our light shine in dark places. Yes. It's, I mean, we just one thing for us to just complain or this and that, but at the point, we need to make our light shine. If anyone else is not living right or or not, we need to live right. I mean, in the church or out in the neighborhood or on our jobs, we need to stand by the word. Yes. And we need to know, because sometimes the only Bible of people will only see is you. So, but we need to stand on this word, yes. saints. And I commit, and I and I, I challenge you guys that, and, and um, that regardless, give God praise. Don't let your situation, don't let your situation stop you from getting further in the Lord. Amen. He loves you so much. Yeah. And he want, and at the end. He said, he who's faithful at the end shall be saved. Yes. So I give you all praise. Thank you. Amen. Amen.